Hello everyone, today I am going to show you guy how to draw rectangle, and move the rectangle using keyboard and mouse. Create new project and name it rectangle. Select empty project and our project name is rectangle. Click OK. Now, I would like to import SDL file, click on project, click on rectangle properties. Make sure all configurations select at the configurations. Click on VC++ directories. Click on include directories you will see down arrow click on that and click on edit. Click on new line and click on the three dot. The select directory will pop up. I put my SDL folder on C colon forward slash drive, so click on C drive, and select SDL folder that is SDL 2.0.7. Open that folder. Select include folder and click on select folder. Click OK. Now click on library directories click on the down arrow and click edit. Click on new line and click on the three dot. The select directory will pop up. Click on C drive and then open SDL 2-2.0.7 folder double click lib fold select x86 folder and click on select folder. Click OK. Under linker click on input, click on additional dependencies and click on the down arrow and click on edit. In the additional dependencies box write sdl2.lib and sdl2main.lib. Click OK. Click on project and select add new item. Name it main file this will be our main file. Now we are going to test our SDL file is work or not. Type hashtag include sdl.h. If you see sdl.h file while typing include sdl.h that mean you Visual Studio know where your SDL file is. Type hashtag include iastream. Type using namespace std. So we don't have to type std all the time when we use something from iastream method or function. Now create our main function type int main. Type return 0. If you don't want to return anything you can use void instead of int. Type sdl underscore window asterisk main win. If your sdl.h isn't working you will get error. Now we create renderer for our main win. Type sdl underscore renderer asterisk and name it win render. Remember, those names main win and win render are the name I give. If you want to change or use other names you can use it. It's good to practice to use others name. In my opinion, you can understand better if you use different name. Now we create rectangle, type sdl underscore rect asterisk and rectangle. Now we create window with 600 width and 600 height. Type main win equals sdl underscore create window. Type the title of our window inside the parentheses. I give the name of my title title. Type the window x position 400 and y position 10 so the window will pop up inside my screen recorder. Width 600, height 600. SDL underscore window resizable. Now create renderer, 
type win render equals sdl underscore create a renderer. Inside the parenthesis type main win, minus 1, sdl underscore render eric serialit. I want to test my code type cin.get, to pause the program. Click build and select build rectangle project. I have some error. I forget to type argument in the main parenthesis, inside the main parenthesis type int argc, char argv. Now build again let's see. Success, click on debug and select start debugging. Here we go, the window with white screen is our window that we create. Let move all window inside the screen recorder. Change the X position to 600 and Y position to 100. Build the project and debug again. Here we go. Close the window and let make our window movable. Type sdl underscore event event. Create while loop to open our window until we close the window. Create bool when close to control while loop. Type if sdl underscore pol event parenthesis and event, open curly brace. Inside the if statement type switch parenthesis event dot type. Type case sdl underscore quit double dot and win close equals equals true. Let test our program build and debug. No work. Make win close to true inside the the case sdl underscore quit. Make win close to false. Outside of the while loop type sdl underscore destroy render. Win render. sdl underscore destroy window. Main win. sdl underscore quit. Let build the program and debug again. Let check the window is movable or not. After that click on the X at the top to close the window. Now we draw rectangle inside the loop and make it moveable. Type rectangle.x equals 10, rectangle.y equals 10, rectangle.w equals 20, rectangle.h equals 20, before while loop. Inside the loop type sdl underscore strender draw color parenthesis winrenator, set red 255, set green 0, set b0, set a 0 close parenthesis. Type sdl underscore render fill rect open parenthesis win render, and rectangle close parenthesis and type sdl underscore render present open parenthesis win render close parenthesis.
Let's check our rectangle build and debug. There we go, a little rectangle with red color. Now let make it movable. Inside the if sdl underscore pol event and user the case create another case sdl underscore key down. Type switch open parenthesis event dot key dot key zim dot sim close parenthesis. Type case sdlk underscore left, rectangle dot x equals rectangle dot x, 2. Type break, type case sdlk underscore right, rectangle dot x equals rectangle dot x plus 2 and type break. Let test again build and start debugging. On the keyboard press down right key check to see the event work or not. It's work. We just have to add another to clear our rectangle. Add two more statements under sdl underscore render present type sdl underscore strender draw color, win render, 0, 0, 0, 255 the statement will set the window background black and type sdl underscore render clear open parenthesis win render. After that build program and run again now the program should work. Add more case something like up and down, so, we can move the rectangle up and down. Run the program. Press up. Up. We should change value. It become upside down. Now try again everything ok. Let make the rectangle movable with mouse. Let add sdl underscore mouse button down. Type rectangle dot x equals event dot motion dot x and rectangle dot y equals event dot motion dot y.
The rectangle should move when you click. Thank for watching. Bye bye.